Our senior design project is called Larynx. It's a software to help physicians diagnose patients with dysphagia. Dysphagia is a condition where uh, patients lose the ability to swallow and this leads to a buildup of residue in their throats. About 1 in 17 people end up with some sort of difficulty with eating and drinking and swallowing at some point in their lives and there's no really good way to measure this problem. So our goal is to make a tool that helps really quantify that diagnosis process and what it does is it takes in 3D stereoscopic videos from an endoscopy session it identifies the residues in the patient's throat and then tries to calculate the volume of those residues. Once our team got immersed in the whole endoscopy field, we started splitting up the project into different roles. So we worked on a lot of other parts of the project, such as like building the graphical user interface that's intuitive for the physicians to use. We didn't have the hardware we needed to start the project initially, so we decided that we were going to buy a camera that isn't quite um, small enough to go into someone's throat and just work with larger objects to see if we can do any volume estimation from there. The team experience has been really awesome in senior design this year. It's been absolutely fantastic. Working with my team was great this year. We're all really dedicated and very focused. It's been awesome working with these students. Uh, they're super engaged, they're real, they learn so quickly. It's really fun being part of a group that is really interested in, in, in the project, but also super hardworking. One of the most amazing things that I got to experience and I got to learn was actually applying my computer engineering background to a very purely biomedical project. Project. I believe that one day we could get very, very accurate um, volume estimation of residue. I would love to see this actually implemented in hospitals around the world. There's lots of opportunities to really take your engineering technical, you know, the things you learn in class to take those out of the classroom and apply them to either clinical settings, lab settings or research settings, um, or even internship sort of industry settings. If this is something that you want to do or you're interested in, like, just stay focused on that. Honestly, you just have to stay curious. If that's what you focus on, your curiosity and engineering, you'll definitely go far.